It's another edition of Star Connect. This one will be good. It's with Majid Ashimeru, Black Stars and Anderlecht player. Very consistent all the way from his Ghana Premier League days and he's going to show us his city. Behind us is the Notre Dame Chapel in Brussels. There's another one in Paris, but this is the Brussels edition. And doing this with us is Majid Ashimeru, consistent, they call him the maker because, I mean, he makes things happen. Along the way, he might drop a few reggae songs and things because he likes um, those ones as well. Stay with us on Star Connect. I'm Gary Al Smith, and this is Beautiful Brussels. Star Connect is powered by Positive Communications, Platinum Live, Nike Media Hub. Media partners are Joy Prime, Joy News, and Joy FM. Welcome back to Star Connect, the show that promises to connect you with your favorite African football stars ahead of the World Cup. Today, like I said, we are with Anderlecht player Majid Ashimeru. He's going to show us his city and... Hi Majid. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Finally. <laughs> probably spoken about this guy for years. Yeah. It's the first time I'm actually seeing him and it's, it's actually part of you know, the interesting thing about our job, we write about you so much, but yeah. we don't know much I mean, about you. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, yeah I've been seeing uh, so many works and uh, I think uh, you guys are really doing uh, a great job for Ghana football and uh, I think it's, it's uh, I mean, it's a great thing for the upcoming guys and uh, already the, the guys who are doing well in Europe. So, I must say, uh, I mean, you guys are really doing a great job. Thank you. High praise for <laughs> Star Connect and what we do, but I love your city. It's not too chill, it's not too busy, yeah. it's just great. Yeah, I also, uh, also love Belgium because I think it's, uh, it's mixed culture. Mm -hmm. you know, there are a lot of blacks and uh, there are... So, I mean, it's, 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 it's uh, I mean, a really great city and I think there's, there's so much to do here. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> like what? Uh, there's so much. I mean, you can go out, you can go eat. There's, I mean, a lot of good restaurants. I like to go out to eat a lot yeah. because, uh, I mean, I can't cook, so... You can't cook? No, no. We'll, we'll tackle that. So, where are we? Where are we? <laughs> we are in, uh, we are in Brussels Centre. Okay. Yeah, so this is, uh, I mean, where people come a lot. And, uh, I mean, there are a lot of shops here and uh, a lot of restaurants. So, this, uh, this is the centre of, uh, of Brussels. Of Brussels. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Majid has had a really interesting football career. But we want to start from the very top. Yeah. Who is Majid Ashimeru? Where yeah. were you born? Yeah. And what's your story from the very beginning? Yeah, a young guy, uh, I mean... I'm a Ghanaian. I, uh, I was born in, uh, in Mamobi. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's where I grew up and uh, that's where the football career starts. I played in the, in the same team uh, with Kudus. We played in the same team. Strong with, Tower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Strong Tower. And that's where it all began. And um, after that, I had the opportunity to join uh, Wafa. So, yeah, I left, uh, I left home when I was 11 years old. And I have to join Wafa. Interesting. Yeah. So, Strong Tower, you went to Wafa yeah. Academy yeah. and Kudus went to yeah, Right to, right to Dream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he left around 12 or yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, left, yeah. Uh, he left later on because I, uh, I left, I was already in Wafa for I think two years before he left. He, so, he, he yeah, left, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Position wise, wait, you guys, did you ever play with him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so many times, so many times because he was, uh, he was with the under 10, I remember, and I was with under 12. Under 12, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, but, uh, okay. But then he was so good, so he has to join us in the under 12. And, good, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Now, even before we go to the hard stuff of the football, I want us to know you a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Mamo B, family, yeah. Yeah, what that, was family like? Yeah, not, uh, it wasn't easy because, you know, I mean, growing up in Mamo B, yeah. I mean, from the slums, you know how it is. Uh, yeah. Tag life. Yeah, yeah, tag life, yeah. And, uh, I mean, we were not too bad, but we were not rich, so it was just ups and downs with my family, but yeah, we give thanks because uh, my mother was pushing a lot and my father also was, was trying to bring a lot on the table. And uh, my mother was the one who started to support my football career. Oh, okay. What about Poppy? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so what was he saying? What was he so, saying? You know, uh, you know, every guy, is, he, uh, he likes school, so he wanted me to go to I school. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? So were you doing school and uh, it wasn't too much? Or uh, was no, it? it wasn't too much, but when I was home, I was... I was, I, was, I was going to school a lot, okay. but when I moved to Wafa, you know, I mean, when you move to Wafa, you have uh, all the facilities of football. Sure, and, sure, sure. So we were just trying to go to school sometimes, but it was more like school football, yeah. 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 So I, even though you didn't like school much, what was your favorite subject? <laughs> what was your favorite subject in yeah, school? I like science. You like science? Yeah. Oh, wow, no, look at him! 
<laughs> look at him. <laughs> anyway, and then I was, I always heard that at Wafa, you were one of the guys who, you were a star wherever it is that you went. Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah. you started in Wafa under. I started under 12. Under 12? Yeah, we went to under 14, under 17, and the first team. There's something about your career. You've like paid your dues yeah. at every turn, you know, no yeah. shortcuts. Yeah, I think, I think with this, you learn a lot. With this, uh, I mean, when you jump, you, I mean, you miss some uh, steps. Yeah, yeah, some steps. And, and for me, uh, I believe this, this uh, I mean, this is what has, uh, has made me who I am now because yeah. I, learned, uh, I learned a lot throughout my career. And, uh, yeah. At Wafa, you were one of the players who came to Europe in your year group. Yeah who didn't sort of skip the Ghana Premier League like that. You yeah. actually played the Ghana Premier League yeah. and you start in the Ghana Premier League as well. Yeah. So tell us about your years in the GPL. No, it was, uh, it was uh, really a good experience because when I was, when I was coming up, you know, in, uh, in Wafa, everyone is dreaming of going to Europe first. So when we had the opportunity, it was, I mean, playing the Premier League, you know, you go to I a mean, stadium like Tamale Stadium that, <laughs> and, and, and it's like a crazy experience, you know, but um, I mean, for me, it, uh, it shaped me really well because I mean playing the Ghana Premier League is really tough. You know the pitch is compared to Europe. It's it's uh, it's a lot different. So I mean I mean this all really shaped me because in, in Ghana it's a lot of tough. There's no a lot of things to us like a uh, really tactical team. It's a, it's a lot about like strength. Yeah, yeah strength and fighting. Yeah. In Europe it's more about tactical and stuff like that. So I mean I learned a lot and it was really really nice experience. So what was your highlights in being? in the senior team in Wafa. Obviously, you were there from 2009 to 2017, yeah. but you actually played a GPL for two seasons. Yeah. What stood out for you? Uh, I mean, the most important one is uh, the game against House of Folk, the 5-0. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phobians, yeah. look away! <laughs> this man was the main architect. He destroyed that House of Folk team. 5-0. Yeah, one scored, of the worst yeah. in their history. Yeah, I, scored one I remember at that time, Wafa was, you were lining up people and beating them. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that group was crazy. Yeah. That group was crazy. I, I, I really enjoy, I mean, playing with that group back then, you know, because it was like, we grew up together. So, I mean, whoever is coming to Suga Cup and knows he's, he's coming to lose. Yeah. You had some long streak where you had not yeah, lost yeah, a game yeah, and yeah, then it was yeah, broken yeah, years yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But tell me about that game. Tell me about that game. No, that game was, I mean, it's, you, I, I remember one thing because uh, a day before the game, like I was, I was injured, and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't train. So um, the director came and told me, "Yeah, we have uh, scouts from Europe coming to watch this game, and you have to play." So I had to take, uh, I mean, injections and painkillers, and have to play. And even on the game day, I didn't play my, my favorite position. I have to play on the left because you know in the middle is always a lot of fights. So sure. I have to play on the to left to protect yourself. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and by God's grace, I was like, everything went well. <laughs> you, you, he, this man, look, he tore them a new one, just tore them apart. Yeah, yeah. And that's the interesting thing yeah. about that 5-0. I mean, it yeah. has lived long in the memory yeah, yeah. of um, Hearts of Oak fans, yeah. for the wrong reasons, and Wafa fans <laughs> as well. So two seasons in the Ghana Premier League, and yeah. then you went to? Salzburg. Yeah. yeah. The interesting thing about this man, this guy here, is that Several Ghanaian players have gone to Salzburg. I mean, the list is about five. There's Tanga, yeah. there's Isaac Vosa, there's uh, Gideon Mensah. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah, Samotete. Yeah. All those who went to Salzburg either, you know, went on immediate loans and stuff like that. Yeah. But he is the only guy who did well in Salzburg. <laughs> went into the team, got good numbers, yeah. and absolutely had a great time there. Yeah. How did your time become so different? Yeah, I must say, just uh, I, I, I believe a lot in God, and I must say I was, I was a bit lucky because I mean these guys you called are, are, are really good players too, and uh, I think I mean sometimes it's just about how lucky you are and how much you put in the in the work. Yeah. So yeah, I mean my time there was was really great, but before I went there, these guys were there, and um, I mean they helped me a lot. Because uh, when I oh you went to meet some of yeah, them yeah there. yeah I met uh, I met I met some of the Gideon Mensa and uh, Atanga and uh, and Ziggy was also there Lawrence yeah Ati Ziggy yeah, yeah. the goalkeeper yeah, yeah. And, and and they made life really easier for me because they were already there they, they knew they knew uh, how things how things are going there and, and stuff like that so it was it was really good to go and meet Ghanaian brothers in uh, in a team like that what do you remember about your time in Salzburg though I mean at the time 
you guys were doing well in the Austrian league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Austrian league. Yeah. You guys also finished well. Yeah, went to Europe. Yeah, you know, and yeah. you were consistent the whole time. Yeah. Any word about the coach? Probably what he did differently. Uh, it was uh, it was Jesse Marsh. Now he's in, um, in Leeds. Yeah. yeah and uh, he's uh, American, and he has uh, this uh, American mentality. Even off of the field, he's, he's really a kind guy. He likes to speak about a lot of things, not only football, just to know how you're feeling, how how your family is, is, is doing. And and, and the most and, and one thing I, I I I'm really grateful for Salzburg. It's I mean me playing the Champions League. Yeah. Because uh, at first, a young age, yeah. Because my first Champions League was against Liverpool in uh, in Liverpool at Anfield, and, and trust me, uh, I uh, I didn't I didn't believe it was me because a young guy coming from Mangobi and uh, playing the Champions League and uh, in Anfield, and you know how Anfield is 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 uh, it's not a place to go. Yeah, when, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. From Liverpool, so yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah. and then European nights, all those things added to your impressive resume, yeah. you know, but. Yeah. This time you knew Ghanaians were watching you. Yeah. You remember the hype around you? Yeah, at the time? I remember. I remember. I remember, especially my family and, uh, and friends because they were already behind their TV and, uh, and they were watching. And I came in um, in the second half. I played, uh, I think, 25, 30 minutes. Yeah. And uh, it was, yeah, we, I mean, a young guy coming in and trying to make sure the world knows about yeah, you. Yeah, about me. And, uh, yeah. Representing Mamobi, representing the hood, representing Ghana, <laughs> representing. <laughs> Majid representing the maker. the maker. That's his nickname. <laughs> the maker. The maker. Yeah. This is Star Connect. And we are in Brussels. Your time in Salzburg was, I mean, pretty amazing for you because you had it, like, as we've established, you had a really good time. But when you think about it, what really was your your thing at Salzburg? Yeah, I mean I had uh, I had so many, I mean I mean so many good memories in, uh, in Salzburg. I mean, winning the league and stuff like that. But, but for me, the favorite one is I mean, playing Champions League because I mean, everyone, I mean, every footballer grew up watching Champions League and wanting to play it. So, I mean, this is one of my I'm my favorite. And you were young. You were young. Yeah, yeah, like you were a kid. Yeah, I was young. Yeah, <laughs> I was young. Again, I'm, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be forever grateful to Salzburg because I mean, giving me this opportunity for. Yeah. And precisely, your coach was Jesse Marsh, yeah. who. Is that um, Leeds now? As at the time of recording this, yeah. Leeds are in trouble. Mm -hmm. So maybe by the time this S, you'll be sacked. But <laughs> as at the time of recording this, he is the coach of Leeds United. What's he like? No, he's. Uh, I mean, he's a good man. Yeah. For me, it's uh, beyond I mean, the manager. Yeah. For me, I, I I love people who you can talk about a lot. Not only football, but you can talk a lot about other stuff. You know what I mean? So I mean, for me, it's he's really a good man and uh, and a good coach as well. But you know, sometimes in football, they are really ups and down and. Uh, and for me, I think he's going through a tough time now, but I know he will, he, will, he will come out great. He's been touted, among other things, to one day be the coach of the American national. Yeah. I know it's going to happen, you know, because of his pedigree, yeah, he's yeah. coaching the Premier League yeah, and all that. Yeah, but yeah. he was really good to you and trusted. Yeah. And the thing I noticed about him is that he trusts young players. Yeah, he likes, uh, he likes really young players. He likes a lot of young players. And, and working with him, it's, I mean, it's amazing. It's uh, a lot of talks, a lot of smiles every time on training. and. Uh, and I mean, you can talk to him about anything. Yeah. Because I remember when, when, uh, when I was there, there was uh, when we had the pandemic, and um, I, I, I spoke to him that I really want to go see my family because I mean, uh, you were worried. Yeah, eh? I was worried, and yeah, he gave me the chance to go and see them because he understands that I live alone, and in, in this time I need my family. So yeah. yeah, he's just really a kind man and really a good person. Great. So Salzburg, and then after that. Yeah. Underlet. Underlet. Yeah. Um, there was a point where you went to St. Gallen. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was in 2007 when I signed first for Salzburg. Yeah. And I have to go to, on loan to, to St. Gallen. Yeah. What did you learn there? Because when you came from St. Gallen, it was as if you had, you had taken some miracle, yeah. some miracle <laughs> juices, man. Yeah, I did it though. I, I like, I, I sometimes. You, really that's where you were the best player. Yeah, yeah. In St. Gallen. I, 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 I sometimes watch, uh, watch my videos back then. I was like, Yo, what, what really happened? You know, the, <laughs> I didn't know the motivation behind it, but it was just me loving football. You know what I mean? As you, as you grow, you you, you become to learn a lot. But back, back then, I was just loving football. I was just loving to play football, and uh, I think the coach I had was was uh, really a good one, and he really understands the type of person I am, and he gave me the freedom to do whatever I want. This is Star Connect, and we are still hanging out with Majid Ajimeru. Um 
Anderlecht -like player in beautiful Brussels. People on this promenade, having their drinks, coming back from work and all that. It's lovely atmosphere. He's going to tell us when we come back from this break about his nickname, The Maker. What does he make? Dresses, shoes, or does he make fantastic football? That's what he's going to tell us um, on this edition of Star Connect. I am clothed by Abrantia, the gentleman in Accra, based in Achimota. You can check out his details um, on Instagram and Facebook, Abrantia, the gentleman. Stay with us, we'll be back after this. Welcome back from the break. This is Star Connect. And just as we were rolling, the weather, which has been on and off, is on again with Majid Ashimeru in his very temperamental <laughs> Brussels weather. Is this how the weather is all the time? Yeah, it's, it's, it has been like this like all the time. It's, it's crazy. It's small rain. Yeah, small sun, small. <laughs> Everything like it's, it's just a mixture of everything. But, yeah, much yeah. like much like the UK weather, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we, we were talking about um, you, Liverpool, Salzburg, yeah, and then making it in Europe. Yeah. What was the situation behind you moving to your present club? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was I had a, that was when I was in Salzburg. After I mean after the corona the corona break when we got back I, I was I was in Ghana and I, I delayed for for a few weeks so I got back I was late and the team already started uh, the preseason and stuff like that so I had difficulties to come back in the team yeah. so I didn't play much and uh, I spoke with my agent and uh, yeah we all thought it's it's a good idea to move and uh, and get some playing time. Anderlecht, big club in Belgium in fact the biggest club yeah. in Belgium yeah. but in the last half decade or yeah. so, Brugge mm. has been taking their shine, yeah. you know. Yeah. What's happening to Anderlecht? <laughs> no, you know, it's, uh, I mean, as you said, it's the biggest club. And, you know, sometimes in football, when um, when uh, when football tennis back at you, it's, uh, it's a bit difficult to um, to get back. But, yeah, we are still fighting and, uh, and hoping the team will get back to where it belongs. But, as you said, we are the biggest team in, um, in, uh, in Belgium. And, and everyone knows. You yourself, I mean, you've been consistent as you've been everywhere. Yeah. You know, last season, um, you sort of had an injury. Yeah. And so yeah. it's delayed you a bit. A bit, yeah. And then you came back. Mm -hmm. But how has all that affected your place in the national team, the Black Stars? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it's, it has been really unlucky for me because uh, every time there's a call-up, I'm... Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit uh, injured or, or kind of not ready for the Black Stars. And uh, I mean, as you said, last season was, was really uh, a season I thought uh, it could be really um, a breakthrough to a bigger club. But yeah, and uh, I mean, injury step in and uh, you know, it's, it's football. I mean, I, I mean, the game comes with uh, injury. So, I mean, as I said, I'm, I'm really unlucky with, uh, with Black Stars, with, with these injuries and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm still hoping I will, I will, I will, I'll be in there one day. You know, you are very lucky. Yeah. You are very lucky because it's not every day that a player gets the Asamwajan. <laughs> <laughs> Asamwajan going on Twitter <laughs> to state a case for you. So there was a Black Stars call up. Yeah. Maji's name was not there. And Asamwajan went full mm. nuclear for you yeah. and said that you deserve a place. Like, how did you feel when you saw that? Yeah, for me, it's, uh, I mean, it's, 
I mean, it was crazy because uh, I was I was on my way to training and uh, and my friends started sending me screenshots and I was like, hey, yo, what's happening? <laughs> and uh, yeah, but for me, it's uh, it's really uh, I feel uh, honored because uh, Asamajan is uh, a big legend for Ghanaians. And him saying that, I feel like yeah, he has his opinion, and I mean, everyone is free to share his his or her opinion. So I mean, I'm 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 really grateful for that because uh, not everyone can come out and and defend you like that or say things about you like that. So for me, I will. I'll forever be great with Wasamaji. Nice one, nice one. But I mean, it all goes to, you know, Majida Shimeru, like you said. Yeah. I like the word you use that you've sort of been unlucky with the Black Stars yeah, because yeah. right from your Wafa days, you are the one player who's been consistent in every yeah, club yeah, yeah. and collapse either don't come when yeah. you are informed yeah. or when the collapse come then There's a... something happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean sometimes I feel like yeah it's uh, I mean, I, I do believe in God and uh, I feel like it's just not the time because sometimes I feel like, yeah, I should, I should be in there, but it doesn't come and uh, I mean, everyone, everyone deserves to be there. Yeah. So for me, I, I, don't, I don't care when, I'm, not, when I'm, I'm really not in the squad. I feel like, yeah, when it's my time, I'll be there because we have so many players doing amazing in, in Europe and, yeah. and, and I mean, and everyone deserves his chances. So for me, I, I feel like sometimes I deserve it, sometimes, yeah, it doesn't come, but no problem. I still support the team and uh, hope the best for the team. Your best position? Yeah, it's a, a central midfield. Eight, ten? Yeah, eight, eight, six. Yeah. Eight, six. Yeah. So, bye bye, Drisu. <laughs> bye bye, Drisu. Um, Elisha also played in the Ghana Nigeria game. Thomas Pate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We have players, yeah, man. Yeah, they're all my guys. But, uh, they're all <laughs> That's my the guys. interesting thing, yeah, right? They're all my guys. They're all your boys. Yeah, they're all my guys. You know, we, I mean, I, I mean, we communicate and when we are all in the national team, we are there to defend the, I mean, the flag. So it doesn't matter who is playing or who is not. And the most important thing is everyone is doing amazing in, in his club. So I mean, we, I mean, we sometimes speak on, um, yeah, on phone and stuff like that. So there's no really competition between each other because everyone is playing in, uh, in his team. So I mean, when we are in the, in the national team, we are just there to defend the flag, and, and, and the flag comes first before everyone. So with or without you. Full vim for the Black Stars in Yo, Qatar. Uh, of course, I'm uh, I'm a Ghanaian, and uh, I mean I mean the Ghanaian blood runs in me. So I mean, with or without me, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll still support it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> if you have something to tell, you know, the players who are going, if you have something to tell them about how big and important this World Cup is for where the Ghana national team is, you know, yeah. in transition, what would you tell the team? No, I would just say they should. I mean, they should look back and uh, and know what. Uh, what Ghana is going through, and uh, how many, how many Ghanaians are, are, are ready to support them yeah. and to give in all out for them to go and make us proud. So I mean, it's a, it's really a big thing for Ghana, and uh, everyone is counting on them. So I mean, we are, I mean, we must all be ready to defend and fight for the. For the and for the coach Otoado, I mean, this must be a seriously pressure-laden time for him. Yeah. If you if you had to tell him something now to keep him calm and. You know what would you tell him to? No, of course he has uh, he has the experience and uh, I mean he knows he knows how football is and uh, and there's a lot of pressure around. But he he has to stay calm and uh, and uh, and knows what he wants and and the type of players he wants to to go and fight this war and to defend I mean, Ghana. So I mean he knows he knows I mean his experience he played before and now he's coaching. So I mean there's no too much pressure for I mean, I mean from outside it has to be inside so that we can we can both fight and, uh, and help Ghana. Nice. This World Cup will be known as one of the most unique ones because of many reasons. Yeah. I mean, chiefly among them is happening bang in the middle of the, of, of the, the season, European yeah. season, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's crazy. I know you guys have underlets, you have national yeah. team players. Yeah, a lot. We have a lot. A lot of and national now team. we play like every three days, there's a game, you know, and it's a lot of loads, but yeah, it's because of the, the World Cup season, so everyone understands. Is the chatter in the dressing room also about how worried they are about the load? Because you hear coaches complaining all across the world, all across yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's crazy because, I mean, you have to play every three days. You don't get time to train. You just have to do recovery every time. And uh, I mean, like for me, it was been like, I mean, since last season, I didn't have so many 90 minutes. And, and in the last games, in the last four games, I played 90 minutes every three days, and it was like too much. Like, <laughs> like, and when I'm going to bed, I feel like all over my body it's, it's dying. But yeah, that's that's what it is because of the of the World Cup season. 
and this is you, like you said, last yeah. season you didn't even get 90. Yeah. So imagine the Sadio Mane. Yeah, they're the, playing. It's, 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 <laughs> the Messi, the Ronaldo. It's too much. It's too much. You it's know, too much. are you surprised, or maybe you are not surprised, therefore, that we are reporting so many injuries almost every day? No, I'm not surprised. In the big players, because, no, you know? I'm, I'm not surprised. You know, when the body starts to get really tired, then, I mean, injuries come out. So if you have to play every three days, then, I mean, you have no time to have enough rest for the body. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's a pity, but that's what it is because of the situation right now. Yeah, and in this scenario, you know, the Black Stars has been looking to augment its squad. As you know, mm. because of this, the number of games and the yeah. COVID and all that, 26 players is now the uh, number of what players mm. that every team can take to the World, World Cup. Cup yeah. Five substitutions as well. Yeah. Ghana use and seize the opportunity to go and look for um, dual nationals, you know, those born abroad and yeah, those yeah. affiliated to yeah. Ghana as well. What do you think about how the GFA has gone all out to look for players of certain quality and standard and all that? Yeah, I mean, they, I mean for me, I think they, they want to improve the team and, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, and we need qualities. We need, uh, I mean, I mean these, these guys are also Ghanaians. They have gone they have Ghana blood in them. So, yeah. I mean, why not if they are doing really well and they have the qualities to help the country? So, for me, I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice for them going harder to get this kind of players because Salisu is, is really my close friend, yeah. you know? So, I mean, he, I mean, me seeing him in the Black Stars, I feel really, really happy for him. Because I mean, but, but Salisu, Salisu is a Ghana boy. Yeah, 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 boy right. but, you know, <laughs> you know the controversy. And, I know, uh, yeah, yeah. Like I'm so. talking about, you know, yeah, those yeah, yeah. born. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I, I just made a, yeah. an example because the other guys, I don't really know them. Sure, you know, so sure, sure. I sure. just made an example. But yeah, of course, they have the, they have the, the talent and, and the quality to help the country. So why not? But you know, um, <laughs> the normal person will say, in our local parlance, Achunai. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's not... And, it's, and for those who don't understand that, <laughs> um, it's literally translation in Ga yes. of somebody works for somebody, somebody to eat. Yes, somebody meaning to eat. that somebody works to qualify the team and somebody comes to eat of the glory of the World Cup. Do you think that any player who is not happy in the Black Stars that, yeah, we have qualified and... It's just no, no, no. I mean, I mean, what happened yesterday is already gone. We just have to think about about what happened today. So, I mean, I mean, them playing. Of, of course, we appreciate them of, I mean, playing and uh, and fighting for the for the badge. But we need people who can, I uh, take the next step, you know. And uh, and if you qualify the team, and you go and you go to um, your team and, and things are not going well, of course, we need people to um, to step in to push the country forward. So, I mean, it's it's it's. It's like that, even in life. <laughs> it is what yeah, it is. In life, in life, it's like that. I mean, we just have to move on. I mean, especially in football, when when you scored, I mean, yesterday, I mean, it's gone. You just have to think about today and tomorrow, what's going to happen tomorrow. So, I mean, we just have to I make sure that we we will think we will think forward, not to think of I mean, I'm people who I mean, as you said, Achunai. qualified, yeah, 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 and all, so, and all that. Yeah. And then, I mean, still speaking of the, the the World Cup, you know, Ghana will be one of five African teams there. You know, you've got Senegal, you've got Morocco, Tunisia, you know, and Cameroon. Apart from Ghana, who you they feel say, Charlie? These yeah. guys, we should watch them, apart from Ghana. I think Senegal. All of you are saying Senegal. Yeah, of course. I mean, when you watch, <laughs> when you watch the, the kind of players they have, of course, uh, I, mean, I mean, they can do something. And, and, and Ghana also, we have, uh, we, have the, we have the qualities to do something. Mm. Yeah. Senegal are those, the yeah. Africans, apart from Ghana, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, from Ghana, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, think, mean, I, mean, I have also said I same. I mean, you, so. have, uh, you have the second best player in the world, of course. I mean, Mane is there. You have, uh, you have Koulibaly, you have a lot of, a lot of these guys. and solid. I mean, uh, they are really solid and they are doing so well in their, in their club. So, of course, I, I, I would say Senegal. Yeah, apart from the African teams and all that, they see everybody has a second team. No, I haven't seen Apart from this, I mean, I'm saying, yeah. growing up, yeah. was it only the Black Stars you support? Or which other team did you support no, apart from Ghana? No, growing up, uh, growing up, uh, I supported uh, Brazil. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> the way you play football. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I remember 206. Uh, yeah. yeah, Ghana, Brazil. Yeah. Oh my God. You didn't know who to support. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I loved, uh, I loved Ghana. But, sure. Uh, yeah, but the game was, was really, I, I remember I was, I was so young. Yeah. I have to, I have to still, uh, 
money for my mother to go watch the football in the, in the game center. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, the, I'm growing up. I, I support the Brazil because of Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, and yeah. So the three yeah. hours: yeah. Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Ronaldo uh, Robinho, Robinho, yeah, yeah, yeah and then yeah, yeah. Uh, Ricardo Kaká, yeah, 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 yeah. obviously. Yeah. Great, great, great. I mean, in your position yeah. as a number eight, eight. Yeah. Do you think, as we speak now in Brussels, Belgium, <laughs> Majid Ashimeru is the best number eight from Ghana in the world? <laughs> no, no, I would, uh, I would say that. But uh, I mean, we have. Uh, I mean, I'm doing my thing. I'm, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do my thing. And uh, I mean, we have, uh, we have so many players who are doing good as well. So I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't say I'm the, I'm the, the best, best number eight. No, no, in Ghana, no, no. no. <laughs> No, the that. maker, <laughs> the maker. And we, and, we, and we spoke about the fact that we're going to tell you, or he rather is going to tell us, because <laughs> you check his socials, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and he hashtags his post with the maker. I have always thought that because he's a number eight, he gives assists and stuff and supports, you no, know, no. creativity. No, no. Is that it? No, no, no. no, no. Oh. No, no, no. Just my bolos. Yeah. <laughs> two, two since a loss. No, no, no. You know, I've been... I mean, I mean, where where I grew up, it's uh, I mean, it's, it's not easy, you know. What I mean, so I mean, where when I was growing up, uh, I mean, me and my friends, we we normally use this word, yeah, we have to make it, we have to make it, we have to make it, and uh, and uh, and one day I thought I feel like, yeah, make a make a make a make and uh, and since then I I I I, I start to feel like yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting there, so. The you, name. You've always been speaking positively <laughs> yeah, to your yeah, life. Yeah, 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 with my friends, so it's like. It's like a makers group, but but because I'm I'm really out there, so I mean I'm using it uh, more. So yeah. 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 So how's the relationship with your boys? Like you said, you have made it. So how is it with your boys who mm -hmm. who haven't gotten to your level? Yeah, for me, it's, uh, I mean I, I talk to them always. When I go back to Ghana, they are they are always with me because these are guys that know the story, and uh, and you can't just take them out of the story. Yeah. You know what I mean so. I mean, we are always together. I talk to them and, um, and and hoping one day I can I can really do something big for them. Give them shout outs. <laughs> I mean, there are so many. There are so many. I don't want to. I don't you want to say so many? No, no, I know, no, no. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> they, they know. They Majid, know. Yeah. Majid, Majid, Majid was on TV. Yeah, Majid was on TV. Yeah, Majid Majid <laughs> <laughs> so these are Mamoudi boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, yeah, okay, boys, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you speak to a lot of footballers and they say, "I am here." But there was this boy who probably was better than me, or these two boys who everybody thought were. Do you have some people like that? Yeah. In Mamobi, who yeah. like everybody thought they yeah. were. Yeah, in Strong Tower, I had one guy. If he doesn't play, I don't play because I always want to be in his team. Wow. Because he was so good. And, uh, What's his yeah, name? Yeah, uh, NS Jang. Uh, Where's he now? He's still in Ghana. He's, I mean, we normally call him uh, Dino. He's, he plays? Yeah, he still plays, I think, in the second league. The second, second league division. In Ghana, yeah, I think of L division. But yeah, we still keep in contact because he's, he's one guy I, I, I always appreciate because when I was young, I always wanted to be in his team because he was so good. But you know, football sometimes is uh, just luck, you know. Yeah. Time and chance. Yeah, yeah, mm. time and chance. Right, as we wrap up on the, the Black Stars leg and all that, yeah, yeah. I would like to ask you about the younger players and the senior players in the team, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, what has been the influence of the senior players in making you guys feel part of the of the? Of the yeah, I mean sometimes when I see it out, sometimes when I see outside, like like people saying that you brothers are not really friendly, and uh, I wonder how because they are so friendly, you know, they are so friendly, and uh, and and they make I mean people feel really in really the comfortable. Yeah, I remember when I when they called me for the first time, there was a Samojan, there was. I mean, these big, big guys, you know, and, uh, and they made me feel like I was really one of them. So, I mean, I mean, these guys are there, they understand how it is to come in in the team. So they help, I mean, they help the young ones just to make them feel really comfortable to show what they can do. So, I mean, when I see sometimes, I mean, people saying, yeah, these guys are not friendly. It's, I, I feel like, yeah, what's happening? Because, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, when you go in there, we laugh a lot. We talk about so many things. So, yeah. Like for the you brothers in particular, yeah. why, why do you think there's that, Thing that you are saying yeah, about them. Yeah, yeah, because I, I like, like when I go, I speak with Jordan a lot, 
even uh, Andrea Yu, I speak in Ghan with him because he speaks a lot of Ghan and, uh, well, and Jordan. Yeah, and jo well, I get, well, I get, well, I get. And, they like Ghan, yeah, so and Jordan, he speaks French and uh, I, I, I sometimes... Jordan, he's a Ghan. A few, a few, few, uh, oh, few okay, all right. She, like, like more times I start to, like, I try to talk to him with, uh, like in French and he's very open, he's very open. I don't know if it's only me, but I feel like the other ones also feel the same. Yeah, and, uh, very yeah, straightforward. No, 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 it's not straightforward. I'm saying Jordan. Yeah, yeah. He's very plain. Yeah, yeah. He's very plain. He's yeah. very plain. It's uh, and uh, it's. I mean, it's open. It's open to everyone. I, and um, I mean, when I get there, I mean, these guys were there and, uh, and they really helped me a lot. Like Andrea, you because uh, one time we had the same connection with uh, with agent and and this agent connect us and uh, and and from there, he, he, I mean, he has been really good. Yeah. Wicked, wicked, yeah, wicked. Yeah, yeah. So, where is the Black Stars finishing in Qatar? I mean, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going out of the group stage. Sorry, we're going out of the group stage. Oh, louder! We're going out of the group stage. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm going out of the group stage. You know, it's like, I mean, you, I mean, you should know we're going, we're going forward. So, so I, after the group stage, anything can happen. Yeah, it's, I mean, not anything can happen, but we still, we still believe we can go even further. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm taking your prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, so that the boys who do that, this one, they say, oh, Majid says, <laughs> Majid says, no, but, no, Ghana but, will finish no, in the but, final, then they'll stick. No, but you have the quality, so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really confident that we can do something. Mm. Yeah. Even though the team is so young, inexperienced, we are the worst seeded team in the group and going to the World Cup. I mean, football. You know the fear? I know, I know the fear because, I mean, there are so many surprises, you know, in football. Now, now Buj is, is top of the Champions League table. Sure. Atletico is there. So imagine how, how how come because a team from Belgium is in the top uh, of Champions League. So I mean, in football everything can happen. So it's, it's just so many surprises, and we just have to stay focused and, and go there to and give our best. Fantastic. So on that Black Stars leg, um, we will move from this temperamental weather. Majid will take us somewhere else. This will be the third location. This is Star Connect. <laughs> Star Connect Trivia. Only one coach has taken four different teams past the group stage of the World Cup. Bora Milicinovic did it with Mexico 1986, Costa Rica 1990, the United States 1994, and Nigeria 1998. Ajit, thanks for bringing us over to your place. Yeah, Majid, Majid has been kind enough to, you know, give me some in Ghana we say ultra tea, you know, because it was raining and it's been very cold. Yeah, so giving me, a, I don't like milk, um, so very hot tea and all that, comfortable. So you live here alone? Yeah, I live, uh, I live with my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've seen yeah. just uh, a good friend of his, you yeah. know, from yeah. way back that Majid has brought him to. <laughs> Um, Steven, and that's very, that's very kind of you. You yeah. know your boys are tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's one guy we, uh, I know like 10 years ago. Yeah. And uh, I remember when I was here in Belgium, I came for a surgery that was back then, 2016. Yeah. And uh, he was the guy who helped me a lot here. And, uh, and imagine when I was going to Ghana, he gave me uh, 100 euro. Wow. And imagine back then how much is 100 euros. I know. Even and now, 100, 100 euros is a, is a big deal. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, I mean, these are guys I, I always keep around and wicked, wicked, really wicked. do appreciate, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, very cool place you like to. And that's uh, Joseph Pinto. We're actually watching the Jupiter League, uh, the Belgian League, and we are watching a rerun of yeah. one of the matches. Joseph Pinto of, um, what's his name, Genk. Yeah. Um, there as well. Uh, you guys are cool. Yeah, it's, uh, it's my good friend. It's my good friend. We talk a lot. And yeah, sometimes we just meet in uh, Antwerp to buy food because uh, we, I think we both don't know how to cook. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor Boys Association. <laughs> no, but he's a good friend of mine. He's yeah. a really nice guy. We, we speak a lot sometimes. Yeah. yeah, we've spoken to him on Star Connect as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. He says his, his twin sister, you know, helps him. So they do Zoom call or. Uh, yeah, FaceTime. Me, I don't, I, I don't have that energy. I'm back from training, I'm so tired to sleep. So. You're just going by food? Yeah, I'm just going by food. Nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. But speaking of the, the league, um, I mean, ambitions-wise, what's, what's the ambition for you? Yeah, now I just want to get uh, Adelaide back to the, to the top. I'm, uh, I'm really a team player. I don't like to yeah. focus more on myself. So, I mean, now we're having some few difficult moments, but 
I mean, we will go through. We will yeah. go through. So, I mean, my ambitions and, and goals are to help the team fight to get to the top. Yeah, when you get to the top, I mean, hopefully you can get somebody, you know, a big team yeah. from wherever coming mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. You were this close, or that is what we thought from the <laughs> outside, from joining an English Premier League team <laughs> in the off season. Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's. It was. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, I, I I came here because of company. So when he left, he he wanted to take me. Oh, you came to Angola because of Vincent company. Yeah, yeah. He he brought me here. He brought me here. When I was in Salzburg, I spoke with him, and he he told me the, I mean, the ideas and everything. So I came here because of him. And, and when he left, he wanted to go with me. But you know, these these things are are not easy. So which to, club was that? Yeah, yeah, Bentley. Bentley, man. Yeah. This Premier League. Yeah. Wow. So the rumors were true. Yeah. You were like. This close or this close or this close? <laughs> <laughs> Just close, close, but uh, yeah, you know, it, uh, it, happens. It's, uh, it happens and it's already in the past, I think it's like five, six months ago, so... No, but, I mean, but, but, but that should make you happy that at least, you know... You know, I mean, I have a really good uh, relationship with company, so of course it was no, no surprise to me because uh, I think he believed in me and uh, I believe in his style too, so mm. yeah, but it's, I mean, we, we focus more on the future now. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, in terms of playing style, you think you're ready for the Premier League? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's oh no, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, are, I mean, there are teams that I mean still playing with the ball. Sure. You know, when you watch Arsenal, Man City, and I mean now everyone wants to play with the ball because sure. it's not back then that everyone wants to fight. You know, kick now. and run. Yeah, now everyone wants to play with the ball because I mean, when you keep the ball, when you play with the ball, then you have more chances to score. So, I mean, it's I I feel I'm I'm ready, but God's time is the best. God's time is the best. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, also as we wrap up, I've got to ask you about um, how people see you in the Belgian league. Well, if you are being rated among the top players, I mean, we, we know what we see on the apps and yeah, all that. But yeah. in terms of the press and things, do you think you are underrated here? No, I mean, if you were underrated, I would say no, because I feel like they, they know that I'm... Uh, I'm one of the guys who are really important to Anderlecht. I mean, so of course, if you're important to a team like Anderlecht, then it means they they see you. Uh, I mean, really high. But I mean, it's it's not easy, you know. But uh, I would say I'm not really really focused on on what people say and what and what people think. All all I focus is making sure I do my best to help the team and, and help myself. All right, and so we have to end the interview. Majid has been a really hospitable guest, showing us around uh, his lovely city of uh, Brussels, even though he doesn't play here. Um, he says he loves Brussels and to go to Antwerp because the action is here. So he lives in the center of town. We'll show him something about being the center as well. Let me show you. Now, if you've been following the show, you know that this is something we do. Majid, yeah. this is the official World Cup ball for Qatar. And what we've been doing is as we travel around, we get your teammates, your Black Stars teammates, you see, yeah. to sign as good luck for themselves. <laughs> this ball was given to me by Samuel Eto'o. Mm. Yeah. That's a big, big legend. Yeah, big, big legend. And, um, so, we want your signature as well. Amen. Hopefully, we meet in Qatar, and then take it from there. we can take it from there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really honored. Yeah. Signing uh, on a ball like this. Yeah. I'll play in the... The big one. Yeah. <laughs> Majid, uh, your favorite number is what, 14? Eh? Was 18. it? 18. Yeah. yeah. What's, the, what's the story behind the 18? Yeah, I remember when, uh, when we qualified for the Premier League. And uh, you know, in uh, in Wafa, they start like number two, number three, and uh, and the coach said he he doesn't trust a lot in me. That was back then, <laughs> so he gave me uh, he gave me number eighteen, and uh, and guess what, I was uh, I was the best player of the team because one of the guys he told you he doesn't trust you. Yeah, he, he, you know, I was I was very young back then, and you know, uh, we had uh, we had our our ex uh, president. He's he's gone now. Sure, uh, sure, sure. Uh, Sam Kuchade. So he, he said, no, you have to use Majid. He said, no, but I don't trust him. So he gave me the number 18 because the number 18 means I'm, I'm behind 
you know. So right. yeah, so I mean, since then when I took the number, everything changed because I had the one chance, and, and since then I never got out of the team. So I said to myself, that's that's the number that's, that's lucky number. yeah that's <laughs> that's gonna keep me going. So that's the story behind the 18. And um, to wrap up the show, we do something else. So Majid, um, the tradition here is that. When I wrap up, I say thank you very much to everyone watching Star Connect. It's been a pleasure, but we let you also wrap up in a language of your choice. <laughs> That's Hausa, of course. <laughs> in Hausa, right? So you can look inside the camera and then wrap it up, Star Connect. And uh, yeah, three, two, one. Hey, Muna Karagori Muku, Muna Gori Muku, the Duba Star Connect. Muna Zonku, we follow Star Connect. He support uh, Gary R. Smith because he's he's the man and uh, he's the one that's gonna keep us going. So go support Gary R. Smith. You heard the man, Star Connect is it. Connecting you to your favorite African football stars ahead of the FIFA World Cup. It is powered by Positive Communications, also by NLC Ghana and Platinum Live Multimedia. Not forgetting 9K Media Hub. I'm Gary L. Smith. It's been a pleasure coming your way with the man, the maker, Majida Jimeru. Another time, we'll be back. You take care and... Star Connect is powered by Positive Communications, Platinum Live, Nike Media Hub. Media partners are Joy Prime, Joy News and Joy FM.